Calls to build more preschools and child care centers, ways to inculcate empathy and resilience in today's youth, and widening the space for civic discourse. More MPs joined the debate on the president's address today, their speeches touching on a wide variety of issues, but each filled with impassioned ideas for a better Singapore. We do see land allocated for flats, transport nodes, primary and secondary schools, sports facilities, parks, nursing homes. But we don't see any land allocated for childcare and preschool. Such centres are usually opportunistically inserted or planned when there are void deck spaces available. Instead of building childcare centres at void decks and other opportunistic spaces available, which are usually limited in size, can we change our current paradigm? and consider building bigger preschool and childcare that have better facilities and bigger capacity similar to the primary schools. There will be economy of scale in terms of operation. I would like to propose that MOE organise few trips, more few trips, to some, to some less developed rural areas of our neighbouring countries. The students will learn to appreciate what is it like to live in an environment with limited modern amenities. No aircon, no portable tap water, no proper rooms. After going through the relatively tough field trip, the students will hopefully appreciate the infrastructure in Singapore better. The field trip could serve the purpose of character building and inculcation of the values we like to observe in our youths, such as empathy, resilience, resourcefulness, etc. Moreover, it could help to foster close friendship ties between the students and hone their interpersonal skills, especially many students choose to communicate through social media rather than direct human contact. I would like to propose that the Ministry looks into further shortening or to do away with the debarment period, especially for rental flats for divorcees with children, given the challenges they face with their existing options. The Ministry should also consider expanding the number of three-room flats under the Parenthood Provisional Housing Scheme. Under the PPHS, take-up rates for four- and five-room flats are much lower due to high rental costs and most families looking to rent under the scheme may not be big enough to be able to justify renting a larger flat. Censoring or restricting films, plays or online sites that seek to examine a complex issue in our society simply because some might find the framing of the issue objectionable is tantamount to cutting off the space for constructive civic discourse to take place. The government should therefore rethink its role as a convener and facilitator of constructive civic discourse. People have diverse affiliations, competing priorities, and pressing local concerns and preoccupations. For Singapore to thrive, we need critical lovers and loving critics. The government will have to unlearn some of these instincts of wanting to draw more OB markers, and learn new ones that emphasise dialogue and engagement, both between groups as well as between government and non-government entities. And that's all we have out of Parliament today. Thank you very much, Sharon.